Hey, what is up guys? My name is Versatile. Welcome back to another Cyberpunk 2077 video. Today we're gonna continue on the story. Um, I think last was the introduction. Hey V, Regina Jones here. If you're looking for work in Watson, give me a call. How did you find me? How'd you even know my name? I know where to gather my intel. Could even call me a collector. Later, V. Okay, that's the wrong thing. I'm going somewhere I shouldn't. Anyway. Hey, yo, V. How about a round or two? I've got to do this. Hey, that's the entrance. So, um, we are back in Night City and Yeah, let's see what's new for us. So we're gonna meet up with a Jackie right quick. How long is this elevator? Hey, why does it look like night up there, but it looks but it's daytime? That's weird. In an exciting development, even Hanako Arasaka has announced her participation in the Dashi Parade. From all of us at WNS News, we wish you a safe and fun Matsuri. Enjoy yourselves, Night City. Okay, that's weird. Alright. Okay. Pictures and all. Alright, see. Let's go ahead and meet with Jackie. Mm. Woman of the hour. Jeez. It took you long enough. Worked up an appetite just waiting. Sit down. Let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Senor Vector. I mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that it's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated coo. So what's the gig? <laughs> we meant to come out in one piece? Well, our savior wants to tell you everything himself. Face to face. No pressure, but... old deal's riding on you now, chica. Alright. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but... Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? No, really, no. It's always the same story. You land on fresh turf, local fixer waves his dick around, but he's smiling, saying you'll be up to your neck in gigs and eddies. Still, all you are is another name in their little black book. Nifty tool for getting them a fat slice of whatever half-baked shit pie their client put on the table. Sure, you crack jokes over drinks, but in the end, it's biz. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with the scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Oh. All right, go down. Yeah, this is it. Come on, me. Find me once fixed up, Dustin. You're so good. I'll pass out what Dex is cooking. For your eyes do not belong to you, or rather. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. Okay, well that is something. 
but common practice I wouldn't thought it's still a dangerous Okay. Vicky, spry as ever, you old ripper. Good to see you. Good to see you too, V. It's been a while. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Oh, kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit, but tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Need tech that can perform. The Dex to Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Quit crying, Vic. I'll bring you the Eddies later, with interest. You know I will. Hmm. Last time. You hear? <laughs> Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Roshi Optics. Best I've got, and should be about right under the circumstances. Now jack in. You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Medical replacements and give you superhuman like abilities so we can improve your compact cape. Combat capability to help you survive in hazardous conditions a lot. Yeah. All right. Let's see. What can we do? What's here? Okay. Kiroshi optics. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. Okay. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. I feel now, like I'm a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Wait, what? Feel anything? Same as always. Don't feel a thing. You ask me that every time, you know. Not as if things are gonna be any different today. Sure thing, kid. I mean, not like there's any risk of a stroke or paralysis, but <laughs> what do I know? I'm just a doctor. That's what I thought. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay. Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Ah, uh, this feels so creepy. It's creeping me out. I ain't even gonna lie. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Scanning people. Okay. 
Time for the scanner. Hold L1. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. Victor Vector. What kind of name is I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er do wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. Database of wanted persons. Okay. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. How about the neurovirus from the last job? Can you check it? Done and gone while we were putting in your implant. Ran a full sweep on your soft and circuits. Zap the critter. You're certified bug free. All right. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now and another two in an hour. You're the best, Vic. I owe you. Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once right. you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. Hmm. Okay. God damn Yo, this man. A pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bank? Would you rather live in peace as Miss Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory smelling near like posies without seeing your 30th? Uh, it's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Hmm. Guessing it belongs to a corp? Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. I know! <laughs> it's awesome, right? Corps don't that's deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolve in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, Convoy was carrying the Flathead, a little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high-grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate, one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. 
To add to the shitstorm, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Who's the prima donna? Corpo agent, internal affairs. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Stick up her ass ain't growing any shorter. So she must be getting desperate. Be wise to think how you could use that. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client. What's her thing? Why does she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. All right, let's get the rod. Do so we set One up the meeting thing, now? Me. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm. Later now. All right. <clears throat> Wait, are we back? Street cred. Okay. So where are we? Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a nod, yeah. Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot military prototype. Maelstrom clipped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. About sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deeds of some Militech agent too, but don't know how much help she stands to be. <laughs> then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table, Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Hmm. Parker. Think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. But I live. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Let's tell her where you go. So I have to go to Lizzie's bar between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Have fun, doll. Welcome to Lizzie's. What a sweet little face. Get you something. Looking for Evelyn Parker. Know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a date. Well, oh, V, it's sir. a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh huh. So, Evelyn. Club's big. Gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Why not say hello sooner? 
I wanted to get a good look at you first. <laughs> like what you see? If I didn't, rest assured, you'd know. Come on, know a place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. Anyone asks, we're not here. Mm-hmm. Arasaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? You know, just never rolled through that neighborhood. Damn shame. The fresh they serve is sinfully good. Chef must have made a deal with the devil. So where's this chip hiding, exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? He's in town? Don't you read the scream sheets? The media couldn't get enough of Yori coming to Night City. It was all over the headlines. Anyway, he's heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son. What, so Arasaka Jr.'s planning to grab the reins while in Night City? Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your tits perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch, aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. I think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits, jacking off to in those boxes. No, they can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, what? even boosted, doesn't what? grasp this week for sure, exactly okay. what you need. So what's yeah, on yeah, the yeah. tape? All right, all Yorinobu's right. suite, mm -hmm. the glorious interior. Right. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. You mean to see you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? No, not at all. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox, not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So you'll be a good girl, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact, in biz or life. She's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Hey, Judy. Compiled your BD, Ev. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw. But yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to her. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig-jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. 
So, we drop V inside? Let her look, let her rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right-o. Sit down, settle in, and we'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first. Okay, hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now sit still, look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm hmm Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. You need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't you just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. Got something here. Should be perfect. Boot it up. Mm-hmm. Let me give you the tailored version first. Let you get your bearings. Then we'll jump into editing mode. Be diving in and Yeah, it's impressive, right? It's too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? I don't know. I... Ugh, let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... <sighs> yeah, I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Buck to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Runner for my crew. Security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Relax, Judy. Everything will be fine. You don't quite grasp the risks I took by letting you in here. What I'm risking poking around with this stuff. We're all taking risks here. That's the job. So either T-Bug patches in, or I'm on my way out. Judy, please. Oh my god. Fine. Call her. Let's get this over with. Hey V, what's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Konpeki Plaza. It's a brain dance. Konpeki? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? <sighs> Unimportant, Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request now. Got it. You ready? A millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. <laughs> This is some weird shit. This is indeed weird. <clears throat> so we got the meat head hot. Did my game freeze with this? Oh, I was about to right, say. Man, eyes open. Gotta find out where your Nobu's keeping the relic. Yeah. 
You look like a cut of fuckable meat. Are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. Sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Then you shall perish for a good cause. But uh, make yourself comfortable. I need a minute to listen in on that conversation, V. Could be something important. Alright. Editing mode. Finish. We shall see soon enough. I need a minute to finish. The program is still in the trial phase. We cannot take it to market as is. We shall see soon enough. Please speak with your father. He's taken a particular interest in this project. He can certainly explain the risks My father's involved. a tired, visionless old graybeard who thinks nothing will change and he'll live forever in his tiny frozen bubble. I should not even be listening to such things. We'll listen to this. Saburo is an adult despot, utterly removed from reality. Stuck in some fossilized vision of a world that no longer exists. Of a world that may never have existed. We have not seen eye to eye for the past 20 years. I am quite sure we want now. Read the documentation carefully. The relic requires specific storage conditions. You must not provide them. In a Heard that? Relic docks gotta be around here somewhere. Look for them. There we go. Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So chips gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. to mark it as is. Please speak with your father. Please explain the risk. My father. Right. Grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here. Guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Oh my god, this is so... Get everything you need? Yep, that'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cache on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. We needed that recording, Judy. BD practically does our job for us. The BD will be the death of us. Seriously. If Arasaka finds out you have it, you're dead. I'm dead. Judy, relax. Nobody will ever know. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. V, once let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. 
No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay, for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words with Judy. How things looking, Miss V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance at that ship without that bot. To work then, Miss V. Alright, so we are done, hopefully. Alright, that took a while, that took a while. I don't even know where I came in from. There a problem? Alright, that's pretty much it. Oh my god, that was really... <laughs> okay, that was something, but... If you guys did enjoy it somehow, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.